Newly developed concrete could help clean the air. Probably we all would like the air around us to be as clean as possible. But how to achieve it? Thanks to the work of Korean engineers, it will be possible to use concrete for this. Their new type of light-activated concrete can absorb pollutants from the air and convert them into harmless products. Air quality in cities is shaped primarily by road transport. Nitrogen oxides and suspended particulate matter, which are dangerous to health, get into the atmosphere from the exhaust pipes of cars. But Korean scientists have found a solution that could help purify the air in cities. It is, surprisingly, concrete, or rather a kind of concrete. Concrete having the ability to purify the air is not a new invention. It was presented quite a few years ago. However, what scientists from South Korea have proposed is a special titanium dioxide coating that is able to significantly improve air quality. The description and results of the research were published in the KSCE Journal of Civil and Environmental Engineering Research. A team of engineers from the Korea Institute of Civil Engineering and Building Technology KICT, set out to create a photocatalytic concrete whose ability to clean the air of pollutants would be based on its outer coating. In turn, this layer was made of titanium dioxide. So far, various methods of its application have already been tried. In the first attempt, an attempt was made to add a titanium dioxide containing solution to already mixed cement. However, the end result was not satisfactory as it had a negative impact on the cohesiveness of the latter. In the next test, pre-treated dust with the addition of titanium dioxide was used, which was then added to the cement, along with which it was mixed. This time a slightly lower porosity material was obtained than in the previous test, however, this still weakened the mixture. For the third time, the engineers decided to apply a layer of titanium dioxide directly to the concrete using a spray. This solution not only did not negatively affect the porosity of the concrete, but even strengthened it, and additionally, it allowed the applied titanium dioxide to directly affect airborne contaminants. The above-mentioned layer of titanium dioxide is, activated, by the sun's rays. At this point, it begins to produce reactive oxygen species, ROS, and it is they that then react with the pollutants present in the air. This applies, for example, to ammonia or nitrogen oxides that are emitted by cars. These compounds are broken down into chemical compounds that are no longer harmful to us. Korean engineers tested their improved concrete in practice. They placed it in a road tunnel where artificial light was turned on to activate the top layer. The improved concrete was then left in the tunnel for 24 hours. After that time, the level of pollutants in the air was examined and it turned out that it contained as much as 18% less nitrogen oxides than before the test. And let's remember that, for example, in tunnels where cars pass, the air, due to the presence of exhaust fumes, is up to a thousand times more polluted than the air outside the tunnel. A new type of concrete turned nitrogen oxides into a form of salt that, under natural conditions, could simply be washed away by rain. Of course, in the tunnel itself, it had to be removed manually. The next step of the Koreans will be to try to increase the effectiveness of the layer they have developed. They hope to bring it to market. If such an invention became widely available, it could significantly affect the air quality in many cities that are currently struggling with this problem.